What's up guys and welcome to our video of the best speed cubes of 2018. This is a video we do every year where we sum up some of our favorite cubes and what we think were the best cubes of 2018. Let's get right into it. First off, we have 2x2, and one of the best 2x2s of 2018 is the MGC 2x2. While it isn't the most used cube by top level solvers, we do believe it has many traits that make it widely appealing to most speed cubers. Coming in at only $9.99, it is the cheapest magnetic 2x2 you can regularly buy that is competition viable. While the price tag may cause someone to assume things about the cube's quality or performance, the cube actually performs well. It's very fast and snappy, and corner cutting is on par with all of the other top 2x2s as well. We would definitely recommend this for anyone looking for a magnetic 2x2 that has great performance. Another great 2x2 is the Volk 2M. We thought it would be worth mentioning because this cube is absolutely phenomenal. This cube is factory magnetic and stands out as being 51mm across, 1mm wider than most flagship 2x2s. This additional width allows for comfort and grip, the Volk 2 is moderately fast with a nice and smooth feel. Stability is also very exceptional. It is one of the first 2x2s in recent years to be a bit heavier and thicker feeling compared to more recent 2x2 releases. When this cube becomes more available to the public, we expect it to impress lots of competitive 2x2 solvers. Now onto 3x3. In our opinion, the GAN 356 Act was the best 3x3 of 2018. GAN cubes have a great reputation and are currently endorsed by many of the world's best cubers, such as Felix Zemdegs, Max Park, Leo Borromeo, and the Vaya Brothers. The GAN 356X was a great refinement to the ARS-M and it also added some pretty cool new features. You now have the ability to swap out the magnets in the cube in a matter of seconds, making it very easy to try different magnet combinations to suit your taste. The new numerical IPG was also introduced to make tension in the cube easier and more consistent. The 356X is arguably the most customizable 3x3 you can buy, and it also boasts top tier performance. Despite releasing in late 2016, our pick for the best 4x4 is the Qiyi Wuchui. It is still strong and one of the best 4x4s you can buy. It was used to break the last 13 4x4 world records since 2017, and is still used by many of the best solvers in the world. The Wuchui is highly customizable with many third-party companies making their own professionally magnetized and lubed versions. With its great corner cutting, smooth and fluid feel, along with the many records it has broken, the Wuchui still stands on top in the 4x4 event. Attention should also be given to the Moyu Aosu GTS-2M. This cube seems to have slipped under the radar a little, but if you do try it, you'll quickly notice a phenomenal 4x4 with great potential. It requires very little setup out of the box to achieve very nice performance. This is a great benefit as the Wuchui requires magnetization and extensive setup to perform at a highly competitive level. Compared to the Wuchui, the Aosu GTS-2M feels a bit blockier and is slightly more stable. The stability and the cube's quick speed make the Aosu gts 2 2M nicely competitive with the Wuchui. Similar to the Wuchui, the Qi Wuchuang has been a dominant 5x5 for quite some time now. It has broken countless world records and has been the go-to choice for all types of solvers. The Qi Yi Wuchuang is famous for its smooth feel with super stable outers, traits that competitive solvers rely on to achieve world-class times. Along with the Aosu GTS 2M, the Moyu Aochuang GTS M has risen in popularity in 2018. Similar to the Aosu GTS 2, the factory magnetized Aochuang GTS has fantastic performance out of the box and requires far less maintenance and setup to achieve a competitively viable state. Compared to the Wuchuang, the Aochuang GTS has a more bubbly and blocky feel and it is naturally a little faster. Both of these cubes are great options and we would highly recommend either. For 6x6, X-Man Design has a history of excellent recent releases, and the X-Man Shadow is no exception. The Shadow is a lightweight but stable cube with a wonderfully smooth, buttery feel. The Shadow is currently used by some of the best big cube solvers in the world, and it has a cool name. Now for our second pick, the Moyu Aoshi GTS-M is also a strong contender in the 6x6 field. Much like Moyu's other big cubes, the Aoshi GTS-M is slightly bubbly, naturally fast, and extremely stable, making it an excellent standout choice. Personally, at the office, this is our favorite pick, but both of these cubes are incredible. The Hay7M was a tremendous disruption in the 7x7 market this year. Even prior to its official release, the cube was used to break 7 world records. Before the Hay 7, the world record single was 206, and it is now 147, which is nearly a 20 second drop. 
The story is similar for Mean. Previously it was 213, and then it was dropped to 157, which is a 16 second drop. Recently it was dropped lower, but the Haze was responsible for the big initial drop. The Haze 7 was probably one of the biggest hardware leaps in recent years, where a new release allowed for significantly lower times than what was practically doable before. There's no doubt the Haze 7 is responsible for some extremely impressive things. At the tail end of 2018, some people caught a glimpse of the X-Man Spark, which is a new 7x7 from X-Man Design, one that many believe is competitive with the Haze 7. The Spark is very similar feeling to the Haze 7, but the biggest distinguishers are that the Spark is a little bit heavier and the turning is more rigid. The cube has less flex to it in comparison to the Haze. Some may find this beneficial to their style and others won't. We believe both cubes are very competitively viable and that turning styles and preferences will play a big role in which you prefer. The X-Man Wingy Skube retains its spot as one of the best on the market. The concave shape still provides a good grip, the solid slightly crunchy feel is still enjoyable, and the magnets still provide great compliance, and the price is still considered very reasonable. In short, this skube is still good. The Moyu Aoyen Skube was released at the tail end of 2018 and is quickly getting attention for its quality and interesting replaceable center caps. The center caps feature circular concave dips that help you grip the puzzle. The fact that these are replaceable make the cube quite versatile and interesting. The Aoyen has a very solid and stable feel to it and is expected to do great things for the Skube event. Pyraminx hardware did not make any large advancements in the last year, so our picks are still the same from last year the Moyu Magnetic Pyraminx, and the X-Man Bell. The Moyu Magnetic set the first ever sub to official average, while the Bell scored the current world record single of 0.91 seconds. Both Pyraminxes are great and have been used to set big records and win big titles. New Square One models haven't hit the market for a while either, and so the X-Man Volt still stands in the top spot. However, despite the absence of new models, the X-Man Volt received quite a few upgrades coming from third parties. Particularly, Cubicle Labs has made two magnetic versions of the Volt, the MS with a magnetic middle slice, and the M that's fully equipped with pressed magnets into the pieces. Magnetic Volts have been consistently pushing Square One records lower and lower in the year 2018. Our pick for the best Megaminx of the year goes to the X-Man Galaxy V2 Sculpted. This Megaminx actually has two versions, a regular version and an updated one that's slightly larger. Both are fast and smooth, which allows for great fluidity while solving. The regular version was used to set the current world record single and world record average, but the emergence of the Galaxy V2L has given competitive solvers a lot more options with their hardware. So those are what we think the best speed cubes of 2018 are. Let us know down in the comments below what you think are the best speed cubes of 2018. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.